and welcome to the show. I am here on Forza Horizon 2 with a, another rally car build in my vehicle today. It is the Lotus Carlton, one of my favourite cars in the world, is finally here on Forza Horizon 2. Very excited to uh, have this vehicle uh, to uh, play around with. One of the, it was for a very long time the quickest four-door saloon car. It still holds its own today compared to some modern stuff. It's a, just such a fantastic, the, it's just such a me car, it's just ridiculous. Uh, Lotus took a very boring Vauxhall and made it incredible. That's uh, <laughs> that's why I love the uh, the Carlton so much right. here. And so I'm going to turn it into a rally car. Now, the rules for this series mean that the car must be four-wheel drive. Uh, PI-wise, we start off quite high on the PI front. Decent power, decent torque. Uh, it's a bit on the heavy side, uh, as you'd expect from a car this size. Uh, making it four-wheel drive, we are already going to get it up into A-Class. So we're not going to have anywhere near as much room for upgrades as we have had in the last uh, the last few vehicles. Engine-wise, I think we have the option of the uh, the 6.2 liter V8. I am not going to be swapping the engine. I don't see the don't see the need for this car. I think it's also heavier. Was it heavier? Yeah, it was. Now def definitely not going to uh, to be swapping the engine. We're going to have the uh, off-road tires. We will have the off-road suspension and gearbox. Gearbox should give us some sensible gear ratios, and the suspension means, fingers crossed, we should survive the bumps. Now, this being a bigger and heavier car, they tend to fare better over the bumps and the jumps. The Tesla is a good example. It currently sits in the top 10 of our time, despite being a very, very heavy car, uh, but it doesn't get bounced around and thrown around by the bumps in the same way that things like the Renault Alpine and the Nissan Fairlady have in, uh, in the previous weeks. I think weight reduction is going to be a big thing. Still going to be, be, be a bit on the heavier side, 3,100, but uh, that's not too bad. I'm hoping we can get some decent power in this car uh, to make up for that little bit more weight. Brakes, of course, going to be essential, and race anti-roll bars. I'm thinking a roll cage may be quite useful as well. I don't really want the weight, and it is going to be a hefty roll cage, but... Uh, this being a bit of an older car, uh, I've, admittedly Lotus do do good chassis. I'm going to go for it though. I got away with the BRZ without a roll cage, but I, th I, I think I'm going to want it uh, in here. Now, tyre widths, these are going to be a big thing. Please be big. Uh, 285s. Smaller tyres in the BRZ, that could be a problem. Admittedly, it does come standard with fairly sizeable tyres. They're pretty big for, for, for standard tyres, but uh, I don't think they're going to be big enough for this car. They're going to have to do, though. Front, 255s. It's not terrible. It could be worse, but I would like bigger tyres. Uh, I would definitely want over 305s or 315s would be quite nice. If not, three, I'd love 345s on everything. But, uh, yeah, they're going to have to do. Have we got any... Hmm, we don't have any ridiculous... Uh, ridiculously silly aero parts. I will go for for these on here. <laughs> it's really weird without having without a wing. Uh, we are going to go for, for aero again. Handling, I fear, could be an issue with this uh, this big brute of a car. Uh, right, now to power. We didn't have an aspiration uh, aspiration swap. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, we've got uh, we've got twin turbos to start with. We are going to get a lot of torque out of the car. That's, uh, that's one thing we are going to get a lot of, which is good. Get the exhaust on first. Drop the weight down as, uh, as much as we can to begin with. Shall we stick on... These give us sizable power. 460. Hmm... I don't know, power to weight ratio isn't going to be the best that we've seen yet. Uh, we're gonna, we are going to clear the 500 horsepower mark though, that's not too bad. Uh, now it's a case of let's just try and get uh, lightweight bits, they all drop a bit of weight out of it, so we'll go for them. We'll, I'm trying to remember which other ones drop weight. Do these drop weight? Uh, they do drop a little bit, but I can drop a lot more weight by using the drive line, which is probably what I will do. So we have this that will drop some weight, we'll use drive line maybe get the, the clutch in, oopsie, maybe get the clutch in if we possibly can. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we will get you, I'll drop 11 out of it. Put the diff in as well, and please let me sneak a clutch on. Hey, we can sneak a clutch on as well, drop another three pounds. It's going to be heavy, we know it's going to be a, a heavier vehicle, but we have got okay power. I'll be honest, I was expecting perhaps a little bit more from this. 552 horsepower, 533. Admittedly, we have got a lot of torque. I mean, this is similar power to the Fair Lady Z, and the Fair Lady Z was about a thousand pounds lighter. Admittedly, Fair Lady didn't go particularly fast around here, uh, and I don't think it had as much torque, but uh, still, mm, we may be a little bit down on acceleration. 
and tires. We may not have uh, the ultimate grip. I still want the Carlton to do well. Please be good, car. Please be good. I'm. I'm really. I'm really hoping we can go. <laughs> we can go quickly. Uh, I would love to see this car get under under the one minute. I'm not sure it will, but uh, we shall see. I have the five laps to set as fast a lap time around the Forest Brawl circuit as possible. The target, the Kuntash, the quickest car that's gone round here, a 59.2. As much as I want the Carlton to be top of the table, I, I think it will struggle. I think it would struggle to get there. Honestly, I'm probably expecting this around the high one minutes, low one minute ones. That is where I expect the Carlton to perhaps come. I don't think we're going to have the acceleration. And we may not have the grip through the turns either. But uh, we shall see. We shall see what the, uh, what the Lotus can do. Please be good. Please be good into this first corner. We... It's not bad. It's as as I kind of expected, really. There's just uh, it's just that little bit of sliding. It's, it's not too bad, though. We might be able to get away with it. Uh, can we keep it planted? We can carry? Okay, speed. Here comes the big test now. Big test for all the vehicles. How quick can we go through here? Uh, back end stepping out a little bit, and I was a little bit wonky on the uh, on the landing of the jump. It's looking promising for a half decent lap time at least. It's not completely terrible. We're not we're not sliding around massively uh, through these corners. We've not got massive massive problems. Let's see how we do acceleration straight line speed wise. Not as powerful as some cars, but we do have a lot of torque. How do we fly through the air? Pretty well actually. That's very well in fact. That's uh, <laughs> if we can do that every lap, I would be uh, I would be very happy. 140 miles an hour is about as quick as any cars have gone. This is uh, not the fastest, but it's holding its own. It may be a couple of miles an hour shy of uh, some of the vehicles that have gone round, but that's that's not, not a huge amount. So the Carlton is looking not too bad at this moment in time. I suspect we are just going to slide a little bit round there when pushed hard and we've taken off at a slightly wonky an angle. Fire that was kept at 100 miles an hour. It's gripping really well. The Carlton is holding on to the road through these corners better than I expected from the uh, the tyres that we have on the vehicle. Again, is at the top of the course here as well. That carries very good speed through the, through that corner. Then we've got to try and slow it down for the final turn. I'm not sure that was quite perfect. I think I went a little bit too hot into that corner. We are slightly taking the... <laughs> We slightly taken off the wrong part of the jump there. Still, still flew quite nicely. First lap, one minute. Oh, it's quick. Carlton is very far. <laughs> the Carlton is incredibly quick already for a first lap. That is not bad at all. We may see another car get into the 59s here. Come on, Lotus. We can do it. We can. If I don't do anything stupid, we definitely can. We're out a little bit wide, although this may let me sort of sort myself out better for this jump uh yeah 102 miles an hour <laughs> that's incredibly fast that's up there with the Kuntash through that particular corner it's really very very quick through that turn now it's up here we've got to be careful not to lose too much speed you see we can just carry so much more speed through that corner than some of the other cars have been doing uh I i'm not sure we quite have we just just don't quite have the acceleration onto the straight. It's just that bit too heavy. If it was about 600 pounds, well, not even 600, I'm thinking maybe even like two, 300 pounds lighter, I think this could be a serious contender at the top. 1 minute point zero eight nine. We're just a fraction quicker. May have turned in a little too soon for this first turn. We're going to run wide, brush the trees. That's not what we want to be doing at all. Yeah, it's, it's very, very good handling. As I slightly expected, the power to weight ratio just lets it down. We can't quite get it out of the corners as quickly as I perhaps want it to. I mean, it's blindingly fast through there if we don't get it sliding. It's just, I just can't get it out of the out of the final corner. I think that's where we're losing the most most of our time. Uh, we can actually carry such speed through there. <laughs> that's really oh, we've over we've overcooked it big time there as well. Right, we're going to have one more lap to try and get it into the into the 59s. Uh, oh no, bad Lotus. Ugh. <laughs> we landed on the side, still didn't lose that much momentum. That's quite impressive from the uh, 
from the Carlton there. Right, get it slowed down for turn one. We are a little, a little wide on the entrance. I may have left it just a tad too late on the brakes. Trying to be brave and the bump caught me out. Run it as close to the trees as I dare. And then we're going to get a small slide through here. Yeah, little, little bits. Not quite perfect at the start of this lap. Still fast though. Still fast at the bottom of that, at that hill. We survived as expected. We survived the bumps very nicely. The Carlton has no issues with being chucked around by them. Carry as much speed as I can through this uphill section and really make sure we get it slowed down for this final corner. Now, use the acceleration. I could. I really need a lighter to car. <laughs> Such a shame. Such a shame. We can get this jump nicely. Oh, very well on the landing, actually. Come on, Carlton. This is going to be the lap. We're going to go any quicker. We do. It's a 59.823. It's just a, it's a, tenth, a tenth off the Subaru BRZ. It's... Uh, <laughs> It's bloody quick though. The Carlton surpasses my expectations and I am very glad that it did. Uh, handles absolutely lovely. Really, really impressed with how well this car drives through the turns. Certainly for the cars that are towards the top of the table, it has the smallest tyres to still, to still get that sort of lap time with uh, the tyres that are on this car. <laughs> that is quite impressive. Yeah, a nice, nice car to drive. It just lacks some acceleration. It's the it's the weight of the car and the uh, the slight lack of lack of power compared to the the vehicles around it. Like the Sagaris is a thousand pounds. I think it's probably more than a thousand pounds lighter. I think I think it's around to about two thousand pounds, and that still had some 400, 400 odd horsepower. The BRZ was about four fifty and it's much lighter and so on. Yeah, the weight just lets it down a little bit. But I'm very very pleased to see the Lotus Carlton into fifth place on our table. Only the fifth car to get under the one minute mark. <laughs> a lovely vehicle to drive as well. Definitely going definitely going to be one of my favourite cars for uh, messing around off-roading on, uh, on Horizon 2. But uh, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.